Hey, what's going on there, folks? It is Earthmaster here, September already, 6, 2018, 446 p.m. here on the West Coast. And I was just looking at the camera there, Yellowstone looks like it may be swaying in the trees a little bit, uh, rocking back and forth. It is, of course, getting close to fall time and winter time, I guess uh, more closer to fall time up there. Uh, so we get the changes of uh, season, which, which includes wind and whatnot. Um, so, yeah little rocking and rolling you definitely see the steam coming out of uh, Old Faithful there uh, being pushed rather rapidly once it escapes the ground there anyway a pretty large earthquake struck the Fiji Islands region here a few hours ago a couple hours ago you can see it right here on the uh, earthquake 3d globe that is a 7.8 earthquake struck really deep once again uh, 608 kilometers below the surface there so we're seeing, uh, you know, like I said, like I mentioned lots and lots of times before, this is a, a prime zone. This little hook echo right here, this area, is where we see uh, a lot of deep earthquakes, if not the majority of the deep earthquakes within this region here, within the Fiji Islands area. Uh, and of course, all the way in the, in the opposite areas here too, um, going along the uh, Pacific Plate uh, Ring of Fire section there. But uh, 7.8, rather nice shaker. Uh, luckily this thing was well below the ground because it's possible I mean that type of magnitude earthquake we could have had a uh, tsunami but uh, 608 kilometers way down there now this range is a little bit deeper than that 8.2 earthquake that struck here a few weeks ago uh, within that same region actually just just about I believe a tad bit over here to the left or to the west um, and that one struck uh, I think about 589 kilometers, if I remember correctly. Uh, but definitely, uh, we're seeing uh, continued increase in activity as we've been seeing on the Pacific Plate for quite some time now. Uh, and with this 7.8, it does not appear that it's going to be letting up. I know uh, Japan region had a uh, their their earthquake there um, a couple days ago, rather large one as well. Let me see if I can bring down those magnitudes a tad bit. Uh, let's go almost about five there we go you can see right here uh, on the globe I'm going to switch over here to full screen so you guys can see so anyway this here is uh, about four point I guess, I'm guessing 4.7 and above um, let's go the past few days here and show you guys a lot of earthquake activity uh, like I say Japan had a little well, not a little shaker, definitely a good shaker, 6.6 .6 up there. Uh, you can see it right there showing up on the red, uh, blue flag. Did some damage uh, in that region, uh, as expected with that type of shallow, large magnitude earthquake right there. Uh, and just, you know, those poor folks up there, they're just uh, they're prone to earthquakes. You know, they live right along the very active Pacific Ring of Fire, similar to, 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 uh, to me. I live on the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire as well, and um, I, I just don't know what's going on with California. We're not seeing the activity that uh, one would expect out here. It's just eerily quiet uh, all up and down the West Coast right now, as far as large earthquakes go. Uh, moderate, I mean, not we haven't even had any moderate earthquakes, just some minor activity. Threes and, and lots of twos, of course, along this section here of the uh, Pacific Plate, or the, uh, yeah, the Pacific Ring of Fire, uh, what connects over here to the North American Plate, but, you know, it's just, it's too quiet, and that bugs me a lot, because uh, aside from that 6.2 off the Oregon coast there a couple weeks ago, that's about the only activity we've seen here, so, unlike the opposite side over here, very active when it comes to uh, large earthquakes. But uh, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah, so 7.8. Uh, I want to get a little bit more information out. Like I say, it's been a couple hours ago since this uh, struck. I was busy uh, doing some other stuff, so I didn't get a chance to see this come in. Um, but 608 kilometers, 7. 0.8 magnitude there. I'm sure they felt it. I mean, with it being that deep, 
Uh, I'm sure they're still going to fill it. Uh, no, nothing on the intensity map. A couple people obviously reported filling it there in these regions. Uh, did show up rather nicely and rather strongly on the overview of Yellowstone National Park seismograph stations here. Uh, you can see it uh, showing up on all the all the graphs, except for these other ones, which is kind of strange. Which that lead that tells me that these things are adjusted uh, very highly, uh, meaning that uh, they don't pick up anything unless it's uh, really strong and really close to the seismic stations that are here. Uh, showed up a little bit up here at Mammoth Fault, but not even a hint of any kind of earthquake signature on these other ones, which is eerily strange and suspicious. But uh, Maple Creek, normally where we see our earthquake swarms at, showed it very nicely. Really large signature of an earthquake. It looks like it was rather long as well. Uh, meaning drawn out as far as time goes. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just, it goes along with all the big earthquake activity that we've seen over the past month or so. Actually, yeah, past month. And uh, it will continue. It looks for the uh, foreseeable future. Bring this back down here to the last, uh, yeah, last 24 hours or so of earthquake activity. Uh, definitely some aftershock activity occurring with this 7.8 in Fiji Islands region as expected and it's hard to say if this is uh, any kind of uh, aftershock activity following that 8.2 that struck uh, a few weeks ago now uh, you know within that same region but either way these guys are no stranger to deep large earthquakes that's for sure and uh, this won't be the last one we see guarantee you that the rest of the globe uh, aside from that 6.6 that struck in Japan we're seeing some deeper earthquake activity up there as well with that 4.3 earthquake there striking uh, earlier looks like um, at a depth of 361 kilometers and of course that could be uh, well it's actually a little south of the uh, activity that occurred over the past couple days there following that 6.6 .6 in Japan region uh, but needless to say this plate is in motion uh, and it's continuing to show that by these large earthquakes and uh, keeping me eerily suspicious of when we're gonna see activity over here on the west coast uh, like I say a couple threes couple twos that's something that we see every single day you know maybe we don't see threes all the time but it's uh it's not abnormal you know this here this type of activity is what we see every single day zoom in down here by Oceanside uh, just northeast of there looks as though uh, a little bit of activity occurring of course they did have that 3.7 I believe near Agunda Ag Agunga I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but uh, oh well uh, they did have a 3.0 there looks like earlier today and followed up by a lot of activity uh, microquakes of such uh, so we'll keep an eye on this region as well for some possible increased activity especially when we see a large amount of uh, I don't want to say swarming but similar to swarming in that area it's good to be on guard and keep an eye on it uh, as we will do the rest of California pretty quiet uh, San Andreas fault up here to the north towards Hollister the creeping section shows just a small amount of activity here nothing nothing big uh, to report in that region just maybe a 2.5 right there near Avenal and uh, some mini ones and under ones within that region so anyway I did want to cover that earthquake uh, the large a very large earthquake that struck in the Fiji Islands region today and uh, you know the depth is what uh, it's something to pay attention to as well uh, definitely some large-scale movement continue continuing way down in the earth's surface there so we will continue to watch this area and of course all the uh, plate boundaries and fault systems around the globe we are live streaming 24 7 here so if you want to go over to the live stream and check it out come on over and say hi and uh, we'll chat a little bit all right folks have a great day I will be back a little bit later on this after or this evening 
for an update, a full update video. Um, so yeah, peace out. Have a good day, folks.